All right, we haven't done a video in a while. I'm going to do my famous scones and show you how simple they are. In the background, you're gonna hear uh, Remy's Baby Einstein and some beeping because my laundry's done. But in your food processor, which a food processor is important because we're gonna use frozen butter. So in a food processor goes two um, cups of flour, one third cup of sugar, and then one whole teaspoon of baking powder one half teaspoon of salt and then one quarter teaspoon of baking soda and then you're going to cut up one full stick of frozen butter frozen is important and that's why we're using the food processor because with a hand blender or a hand uh, pastry cutter i'm taking forever all right, and then in a separate bowl, you have one egg and um, one half cup of sour cream, and that's it. So you're gonna whisk those together. And then you're gonna blend this in the food processor. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna spare you the noise of blending, and I'll, uh, I'll show you the dough when we get back. Okay, we're gonna pour the flour mixture into the one egg and the one half cup of sour cream. And that is it. Now I'm gonna add to that, uh, you can do blueberry, chocolate chip, whatever you want. I'm gonna put a little bit of orange zest and then we're gonna do dried cranberry. The combination is really good and it's typically um, everyone's favorite. I like the chocolate chip, but it's not as sophisticated, I suppose. So we're doing uh, orange zest and then however many dried cranberries you want. Whatever you like, more the better for me. And then this dough is gonna actually take a little bit to knead, so it's gonna take you probably three, four minutes to knead, and then we're gonna we have our oven preheated to 400, and then I'll show you how I flatten them out after I make the dough. I just went around and pressed this flat with my hands. I like to keep it on this because then I can spin it as I press it. Press it. It's artisan, so it's not a perfect circle. I'm gonna flip you around, show you how I quarter it. And let's see. There we go. And you're gonna cut it into eighths, just like a pie. And then make sure you put a piece of parchment paper down on your baking sheet. Miss Remy has decided to stop watching her show and focus on me. Okay. You'll have to excuse the quality of my film. My producer was not with me today and you can tell that we suffered immensely, but I hope I got my scone recipe across nonetheless.